Now, she was called the leader of the free world as authoritarian populists were on the march in Europe and the United States. But Angela Merkel is wrapping up a historic 16 years in power with an uncertain legacy at home and abroad. Take a look. After 16 years, German Chancellor Angela Merkel is stepping down. In her time at the helm, she's steered the country through a number of major European crises with her signature style of calm, rationality and caution. Born in West Germany but raised in the East, she spent her childhood here in the town of Templin before going on to study physics at university. The future German chancellor entered politics at the age of 35 after the fall of the Berlin Wall and quietly climbed the ranks of the Christian Democratic Union, becoming party leader in 2000. All those men in the West German CDU, who were already around in the early years of the CDU, who were career party politicians, couldn't really imagine that this woman from the East was going to take a leading position, party leader, chancellor, not at all. But of course, she always benefited greatly from being underestimated. Three years into power, she faced her first storm the global financial crisis. Merkel pushed for fiscal austerity to save the euro, something the Greeks can never forgive. She represents the bailout program, the most difficult period, when they impose poverty, reduction of pensions and wages, increase of prices. Generally speaking, this is the biggest crisis that Greece has experienced in the last 30 years. Within days of the 2011 Fukushima disaster, she decided to phase out nuclear power in Germany. In 2014, she mediated between Russia and Ukraine. And in 2015, Angela Merkel made one of the most important decisions of her career, opening Germany's borders to thousands of refugees from Iraq and Syria despite a public backlash. A selfie she took with Anas, a Syrian asylum seeker in Berlin, became a potent symbol of her migration policy. Mrs. Merkel is the heroine who saved my life in my eyes. She gave me the chance to enter this country, to integrate, to feel good here. She offered me safety. For me, she is the most powerful woman in the world. Merkel's path to re-election in 2017 was far from smooth. Her popularity took a hit from the migrant crisis, the far right entered parliament, and coalition talks were protracted. The following year, she announced that she would not run for re-election. I think we have to open a new chapter, and it's time for me to share some of my decisions. I will not be a candidate for the presidency of the CDU. Erstens, auf dem nächsten Bundesparteitag der CDU im Dezember in Hamburg werde ich nicht wieder für das Amt der Vorsitzenden der CDU Deutschlands kandidieren. And this fourth term is my last as Chancellor of Germany. Meine letzte als Bundeskanzlerin der Bundesrepublik Deutschland. In 2019, bouts of severe trembling provoked speculation about her health. But any concerns about her ability to govern were allayed amid the coronavirus pandemic. Her handling of the crisis, deemed clear and rational, has boosted her popularity ratings. For someone like me, Rest assured, for someone like me, for whom travel and freedom of movement are a hard-won right, such restrictions are only legitimately established in cases of absolute need. In a democracy, such decisions should never be taken lightly. But for now, they are essential to save lives. In August, three-quarters of Germans said they were satisfied with her work. But young Germans aren't so sure. Also, ich finde, um, sie, sie ist in Krisen gut. She has always been good in a crisis. 
She has also shown good leadership, but there are still many things that bother me slightly. For example, she doesn't care enough about climate policy. Von bisschen stören zum Beispiel, sag ich mal, finde ich kümmert sie sich nicht genug um Klimapolitik. The 2021 election marks the end of a political era for Germany and for the European Union. And while Angela Merkel has been coy about her retirement plans, she has listed two priorities, travel and a nap.